Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can test to make sure that your Facebook or Meta Pixel is actually working on your website. So you went ahead, you set up your Pixel, you set up some conversion events. Now you wanna make sure that it's sending data back to Facebook or Meta so that way you can track your conversions and also so that way Facebook can optimize your ads for you. So we have it all set up on our website. Now what we wanna do is come over to the Ads Manager area and you wanna make sure that you're under Events Manager. So Events Manager, and then you wanna go under Data Sources. So we'll click into this area, and you wanna make sure that you're on the appropriate data source for your website. So I have the CEM training one that I'm going to be working with. And so what I need to do is come over to Test Event. So click on this option here, and come on down here, and there's an option right here. So confirm your server's events are working correctly. And so you'll go ahead and follow these instructions if you're using the conversion API and I have a whole other video on how to set that up. So if you're interested in it, link in the description down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this one real quick. The next thing is the confirm your website's events are set up correctly. And that's what we wanna do, right? So it gives us some information here. So we need to plug in our address and then we need to take some actions on our page to make sure it all works. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my address here and open my website. And so my website loads and then I can go ahead and I can click around. I'm gonna click this button. I'm gonna come and click my thank you page link and this should trigger a lead event because that's something that I set up previously. And now I just wanna make sure that the events are coming over into my Facebook or Meta account. So I can come over here and I can see that a bunch of events are being reported back to Facebook. So I have page view events when they're landing on one of my pages and I can see the parameters that are sent over and I can get more information and see who's doing it. So this is me landing on the page. There's a subscribe button click event that automatically logged and that was fired off when the About Us button was clicked. There's a contact event that was triggered, and that's because I set that event up earlier. There's a subscribe button click, which was also automatically logged, and we can see somebody clicked a button that said thank you on it. And so that's when I clicked the link in the navigation on my website that said thank you, and it brought me to the thank you page where I can see that a lead event was fired off, and I can see what URL gave me that event, which matches what I set up, so that's perfect. I can see that two lead events came in, but Facebook was smart enough to know that it was a duplicate entry, and so it automatically removed one of those lead events, so only one lead counted. And also a page view event was deduplicated or removed because for some reason a page view event triggered twice but Facebook was smart enough to remove it. The moral of the story is all my events are coming into Facebook. And so it looks like everything is working correctly. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and like retry something, you can go up here to clear activity and clear activity. And you'll be back to these options right here where you could go ahead and start a fresh test and repop up your website and make sure everything's working again. And so that's it for this video. It's a short little one just to show you how you can test your pixel and making sure that it is working on your website. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.